Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining us for an animation celebration at Disney Channel Fan Fest. Disney Television Animation brings you the creators and voices of your favorite animated shows, DuckTales, Big City Greens, and our upcoming series, Amphibia. And now, please welcome your host, the dialogue director of DuckTales, Sam Regal. Welcome to Disney Channel Fan Fest, a day that's all about the best people in the world. You guys, the fans, give it up for yourselves. Uh, my name's Sam Regal. How are you guys doing today? That's awesome. Have you had a great time so far seeing all your, your favorite Disney Channel superstars live and in person? I thought so. Uh, this is such a special event, and all of us at Disney Television Animation are so jazzed to be here with you all. And we've got a lot to show you guys today. So, how about we get right to it? What do you say? Okay. Now, as you probably know, it takes a lot of time to write, draw, animate, record, and, you know, just kind of produce an animated series. But the three basic things you need always are, one, a story, two, characters with voices, preferably, and three, a world to put them in. Today, we are going to show you an insider's view of how all that is put together. And our first team to help us do that is one of my personal favorites because they are the ones who currently employ me. Um, it's a show that I work on. It's called DuckTales. And here's the creators uh, who, who, who come together every week to, <laughs> to tell you tales about ducks. Matt Youngberg, Francisco Angones, and Colleen Evanson. Give it up! Hey, everybody, hey. how's it going? <laughs> DuckTales! <laughs> yeah! Every time. <laughs> I'm Matt Youngberg, I am the executive producer of DuckTales. <laughs> I'm Francisco Angonis, co-executive producer and story editor, head writer of DuckTales. <laughs> and I'm Colleen Evanson, and I am a writer of DuckTales. <laughs> Go me. We are super excited to be here today to talk to you about DuckTales and it, it, more specifically how we make DuckTales and we're going to be talking to you about story. So what is a story? Frank, you don't know what a story is so I'm going to tell you what that is. As my head writer, Oof. I'm always trying to teach him how, what a story is. A Heard story... From? What? <laughs> Nothing, keep going, it's fine. A story is all the things that happen over the course of an episode. For example, if they're discovering a lost society in a pyramid or if they're fighting a troop of dancing sky pirates. These are all stories that, are, that happen to our characters. That's right, and to have a story, you need three basic things. You need a hero or heroes. Those are the people that the story's about. Uh, those heroes need a goal, a thing that they want, because it's DuckTales, it's usually a treasure. And they need obstacles, which are things that can get in the way. So we need heroes, treasure, and obstacles, usually traps or monsters or any kind of cool thing like that. Yes, we do. And we also, today, have a special treat for you guys where we're going to come up with a quick DuckTales adventure using you guys as the writer's room. Ooh. Ooh. No one's excited? Are people excited about that? Okay, great. People love being writers! Yes! <laughs> Woo! You get to wear sneakers as a writer. Um, okay, so <laughs> now that you're all going to be writers with me, um, I'm going to need your help to make a brand new DuckTales episode. So, first we're gonna need some characters. You guys are hopefully familiar with our characters. We got Huey, Dewey, Louie, Webby. Who would you guys like to write a story about today? Just shout it out, guys. Webby. Who? Webby. Webby. I, I think I'm hearing two of them in particular. You're hearing yeah. two in particular. Who are you hearing, uh, Matt? Uh, definitely Huey and Louie. Yeah, I'm Whoa. hearing Huey and Louie. Yeah. Well, we're in luck because guess what? The voice of Huey Duck and Louie Duck is here. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of Huey Duck coming up, Danny Pudi. And the voice, <laughs> careful, careful on the stairs. And the voice of Louie, Bobby Moynihan. Hello everyone. Duck 
Great job. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Nailed it. Okay. So now that we have our characters that are here, we're going to need to find an adventure location to put them in. So where do we want them to be? Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> good. That's pretty good. I like it. I like okay. it already. Yes. <laughs> we're going to Disneyland, you guys. Great. Uh, you told me something about it. Can, can I tell you're, you something? You're in it. You're in it. Currently, it, you're here. It. Yeah, we're here. You're present. Um, okay, so now we need a treasure for them to be going after. Churros? Yeah, the gilded churro of gilded Disneyland. Churro. The, the churro. most dreaded and rare treasure <laughs> that the Magic Kingdom has to offer. <laughs> okay, so now we're in, just to recap, we're in Disneyland, and you're going, you guys are going after the gilded churro of Disneyland. The gilded yeah. churro of Disneyland. And if you are not familiar with the show, remember that Huey is our ace junior woodchuck. He is very prepared. He loves knowledge and learning and can get a little afraid of danger at times. Uh, and then we have uh, Bobby's playing Louie, who loves treasure and doesn't want to have to work for it. Right. Um, as a better character. <laughs> <laughs> also true to life. Yeah, very true yeah. to life. Very true to life. So as these guys start going through the adventure, we are going to let them go through and start their adventure through Disneyland on, uh, on the scout for the golden uh, slash gilded churro. And uh, throughout the story, we're going to wind up saying freeze at certain points. I'm going to ask you guys for more suggestions about obstacles or things that get in their way of their goals, okay? I'll see you in a bit. And begin scene. Ah, the gilded churro of Disneyland. You act like that's a thing I know about. <laughs> well, you should, Louie. By the way, where's Dewey? Where's Webby? This is a weird B story. Yeah, why are we doing all the work and Dewey's not here? Why is it always that way? Typical, typical. Watch your step there. Watch your step. Sorry. Oh. All right, step ew, one. Ew, this yeah, is, I don't care- want to be here. Be careful. <laughs> step one, Junior Woodchuck Guidebook. Sound younger. I gotta sound younger. There Got you it. go. Number there you one. go. <laughs> Step two. Step two. Stretch it out. Stretch, stretch it, out. it out. Stretch, stretch it, it out. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. And we're in Disneyland. And we're in Disney. They must make a lot of money here. Wow. It's like a money printing machine. For a good purpose, though, right? My favorite place on earth. Now, before we get to all the DuckTales merch, we need to find the gilded churro of Disneyland. You mean there's more to life than merch? Louie, why are you distracting me? From I'm this very story? on brand right now. Okay, Louie, come on, get to it, all right? Okay, okay, Whip we got Okay, Louis. I'm sorry. Now let's follow my step. Be very careful okay, here. Okay, follow your Wow, step. it's weirdly brightly lit for our adventure. It is. This, this is the most well lit adventure we've ever had. Louie, put on your freeze. Sofa. They're coming upon a pit in this well lit room <laughs> that they don't see yet. What's in the pit? I'm hearing a Dole Whip. There's a Dole Whip in the pit. Unfreeze. Also alligators in the Dole Whip. <laughs> Correct. Correct. I guess. Oh! oh, be careful. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my gosh. That looks it delicious. Looks, it looks really tasty. And shockingly dangerous. Okay, um... What are we going to do here? I mean, I'm going to pull out my Junior Woodchuck guidebook. I mean, There's nothing in it about Dole Whip okay. and alligators. Huey, relax. I can't. This is me. This is Huey. I don't relax in these kind of situations. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep cool and just keep going on. And I'm going to grab a spoon and have some of this delicious whip. <laughs> okay. While Maybe you the do alligators that, are friendly. Who while knows? While you do that, I'll make sure these are the friendly alligators, not the ones that actually bite you, okay? Smart. Okay. Okay. They're the friendly ones, Louie. They're the friendly ones. They are? Ones. Oh, They're thank goodness. Ones. Okay, good. I'm glad that you went first. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take off my hat because I'm the red one with the hat. Yeah, why do you get a hat? I never get a hat. I don't understand that. I used to. I feel like I used to have one. <laughs> I'm just going to scoop it up. I'm just going to do some Huey Scoops over here. Yeah. Hey, we should open an ice cream shop called Huey Scoops. Uh, that, you know what? That's a business plan I'm in back of. Yeah. <laughs> Now they're going to come up against their next obstacle, because this is DuckTales, it's some kind of monster. What kind of monster? A giant Dewey stuffed animal. A giant Dewey stuffed animal! 
Okay. Oh, oh man. Oh, I like where uh, this is going. Yeah, Let's I do think... it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's our bro? Dewey? Dewey! How dare you? Hold on, I feel like someone should play Dewey. Sam, get up there. Oh, uh, Sam should do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I currently possess the Gilded Churro. It's a one of a kind piece of merchandise that you can only find at Disneyland. <laughs> And you will never get your hands on it. <laughs> hey, Dewey, can you sound a little younger? Yeah, can you oh. get up? Can you get up for us, please? I've been to do that for two seasons ah. to Sam. Yeah. <laughs> me, 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 me. Yes. Hey, guys! Yes. There it is! It it's sounds like me. someone's doing the warm up. Dewey, what happened to you? Uh, I don't know. I just fell into this pit of Dole Whip, and, and now I'm a horrible mach- monster, but, but I'm also kind of huge. Guys, I can oh. totally beat you up. Oh, God, let me <laughs> Oh, no. Wait, you're telling me I could do this too? Yoinks! <laughs> He's in the door! Whoa! Oh, oh you're you big too! I'm doing it! Chickadoo! We gotta do this! This is the best! Uh, hey! Ah. Huey legs! And freeze! Alright, so now they have faced off Keep against their mortal Keep enemy, that leg up. their up, brother. A little higher, a little higher. A little higher. A little higher. A little higher, higher. Oh, higher. in that Ballet training. training. All right, there we go. Training. Wonderful. So now, you faced off against your greatest mortal enemy, your brother. There's only one way to defeat him, and there is something in Louie's hoodie that can defeat him and get the churro. What is that thing, audience? A fast pass. A fast pass? Is that right here? All right. Louie, in your hoodie, you have, luckily, a fast pass that will somehow defi- defeat the Dewey monster. Of course I have a fast pass. And I never leave home without it. Unfreeze! And now I shall eat the churro myself. No! <laughs> Slow motion. Slow motion. Slow motion. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I just got first in line at Star Tours. <laughs> we did it, and he's okay, and we're back to normal size. Oh, let's eat the churro. Can we, we eat it? We should all share it, guys. We should all share it. <laughs> woo! woo. <laughs> Duck tails, woo! <laughs> so, you guys wrote that very excellent episode of Duck Tales. Thank you. And if you didn't like it, you have no one to blame but yourself. Thank you for all the great suggestions. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, now, as a special treat, we're going to show you a never-before-seen clip from an upcoming episode where we're going to introduce a brand new hero who has his own treasure, and he finds an unlikely obstacle, Scrooge McDuck. Ooh. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. So, um, Mr. Jin, uh, can I get you something while you wait? Uh, a pep? I am in no mood for pep. I seek only the lamp of the first genie. A sacred relic of untold value that the last of my line has sworn to protect for all time. Today, on the eve of the Ifrit's dawn, my quest must come to a triumphant conclusion. Or the consequences may be dire. I like everything about you. 
So, funny thing about the lamp. Uh, uh, you'll love this. It appears I have misplaced it. <laughs> That was awesome. Uh, you guys having fun so far? Yeah. Awesome, that's great. Well, we talked about story. After you have your story, it's time to populate your show with great characters and amazing voices. And here are some of the best in the business. Please welcome from the, uh, from the great show, Big City Greens, the creator of the show and the unique voices of Cricket and Tilly, Shane Houghton, Chris Houghton, voice of Cricket, and Mary Harrington, the voice of Tilly. Give it up. is amazing. Hi everybody, I'm Shane Houghton. And I am Chris Houghton. We are brothers and we created Big City Greens. Has anybody seen Big City Greens? <laughs> yeah, ah, some fans here at FanFest. Right. We have a very special guest today. We are joined by Mary Ev Harrington, the voice of Tilly Green. Well, hello there. Yeah. Also, Chris, my brother, does the voice of Cricket Green. That is correct, that is correct. He got us both here. So, uh, once you have your story written, like you just saw in DuckTales, you're coming up with a story, the next thing you gotta do is you gotta put voices to that story. And since we have the voices of Cricket and Tilly here, I thought, let's not talk to Chris and Mary Ev, let's talk to Cricket and Tilly. So can I, can All you right. guys do that? Uh, well, if you so insist, sure. We're game, we're game. All right, so Cricket and Tilly, this is your first time at Disneyland and California Adventure. What do you think? <laughs> oh man, we have had so much fun. Today has been truly magical. However, I did seem to get a small speck of pixie dust in my eye. Oh, no, I'm so sorry right. to hear that. All right, Tilly. Do either of you have a favorite ride? Oh, I liked Snow White's Scary Adventures. It was a bit frightening, but the name does imply that scares will be had. True, true. Yeah, my favorite was the Incredicoaster. We went on it four times. Would have gone on it five times, but I was too busy throwing up. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have had so many Dole Whips. Well, they shouldn't make them so delicious, then. Wait, uh, were either of you able to meet any other Disney stars today? Oh, yeah, I met the big cheese himself, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> what a treat. Way nicer than all the mice in my house. Uh, although, now that I think about it, uh, I did most of the talking. You know, I, I, in fact, he didn't even say a word. I, I carried the whole conversation. Well, I was having a grand time catching up with Moana until we were interrupted by a very rude woman named Cruella DeVille. Mm. I'm looking to report her to security for being such a prickly pear. Do you guys have any plans for the rest of the day? Well, we've got nine hours left until California Adventure closes, which is just enough time to get through the giant line for Radiator Springs Racers. Oh, yeah. And I love Mater. He's, he's my favorite. He's always saying stuff like, He's always, you know, like, like what? But yeah, like, you know, Tilly, you know uh -huh. what I'm talking about the stuff he says. Yeah, yeah. It's just funny. You yeah. gotta be there. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a great time. All right, give it up for Cricket and Tilly. Woo! All right, thank you guys. Kit, obviously, Chris, that is not your real voice. What does your real voice sound like? My real voice sounds more like this, or like this. That's, that's a little closer. <laughs> there it is. And Mary Ev. Oh, hi. Yeah, no, I don't sound like that. <laughs> so you guys are doing voices. You put on a voice when you're, when you're creating that character. Yes. Correct. Chris, where did the voice of Cricket come from? Uh, the voice of Cricket came from uh, me kind of imitating old uh, country folk singers. You know, I would kind of put on that country draw and then kind of you really just kind of pitch it up a little bit, put on a big smile, and before you knew it, you had a big friendly Cricket. That's bingo, great. bango, that's bingo, it. Bingo, bango. Bingo, bango. And Mary Ev, when we were creating the show, we initially thought Tilly was going to have a kind of low voice, and then you came into audition and just absolutely won us over, and we fell in love with your voice. But how did you come up with the voice for Tilly? Well, I was really inspired by the art, um, which was provided with the audition, as well as like in the eight lines or so that were provided for the audition, it's like there was a pretty wide range of emotion, but just based on the art, I thought, I just have a feeling that super excited, happy Tilly and kind of having a not great day Tilly is kind of sounds relatively similar. So right. she had like, yeah, one speed. Um, so that's what I did in the audition. And obviously she got more dynamic as the show has gone on. But if you notice in Space Chicken, she's pretty one speed all the time. 
I also remember you saying you had never done that voice. Never before. Until the no. day you auditioned no. and it just kind of came out. Yeah, I saw that picture and it was like, whoa, where did that, where did that come Ghost from? Ghost of Tilly. Tilly That's just right. spoke to you. She did, she did. She just came through and it's like, who are you? Tilly Green is the answer. So once we have uh, voices, once we cast an actor and land on what that character sounds like, when we write our stories, uh, the next thing you have to do is you have to see what the visuals look like. And so we have a clip of a storyboard, and uh, if we can get that going, that's like a black and white, rough draft version of what the episode is going to be. Um, do we have that storyboard clip that we can play? Let's play a little of that. There we go. There it this, is. This is a clip from uh, season two of Big City Greens, where the Greens go to the beach. Uh, yeah, so check Big this spoilers. out. Big yeah. spoilers. Big spoilers. Oh, so Sandy. This is, this is what it looks like. It's just kind of rough version. It kind, you get the idea of what's going on, but um, you, we don't have any voices. It's, it's, all, it's all silent. So what we do is we take these guys, and we put them in a soundproof booth, and we record all the lines of dialogue. So... Uh, let's see what the, when that animation comes back, when it's fully animated, it's in color, it looks great. We have a clip that we want to play for you of kind of just what that looks like, just stepping you through the process here. So this next clip is uh, Cricket and Tilly in an episode called Cricket's Biscuits. Uh, can we play that clip? This clip, uh, you're going to see, it's just Cricket and Tilly kind of running around. Um, and can we get that rolling? Uh, it makes a lot more sense when you see the clip. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a Mary have added a little bit there. It's kind of nice. I feel like that clip could be so much funnier if, if oh, Chris, if you could join it. in. <laughs> let's sweeten it now. Yeah, let's let's get we're on that, the right let's track, that Mary. Same clip again, and this time, you guys, can you do the voices live oh, to the picture? I think we can. Let's try that out. Let's play that clip again. Yeah. 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 Well done. That was well great. Done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Let's hear for him. Thank you. I mean, that was that was okay. I feel like you guys could handle a little bit more. What? What if we did a well, whole scene? What if we did a whole scene and okay. I'm gonna can we take all the cricket and Tilly audio out of this scene and I want you guys to do it just live. Just what? right here, can you do read the lines that you would have read? <laughs> I'm barely prepared. Oh no. Let's play this next clip. In this one, this is also Cricket's Biscuits. Uh, Chris and Mary Ev. Oh, Tilly, are you ready for the best biscuits you've ever tasted? Looking good, looking good. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's try it. <laughs> 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 What have we done? Eh, I just want biscuits! <laughs> Welcome to the club. I've been trying to get my hands on a feel better butter biscuit for years. Did you really think you could simply bake them on your own? Yes. You always tell us to believe in ourselves. Fools! Both of ya! Rude! Yeah, Dad, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, that was great! Hey! Yeah, nice work, guys. Look at that. Now that's fun and all. But Shane, I feel like we should extend this out to the audience. I mean, you guys are a great Cricket and Tilly, but there's gotta be somebody here who maybe could provide a Cricket and Tilly voice for us. Oh, Do we have any volunteers? My oh my goodness. Anybody? I Sam, can you found, find somebody yeah, for us? I, I found a young lady in the front row. Uh, what's your name? Savannah. Savannah, Savannah, meet Savannah. She, she could do a great Tilly, I think. Hey, Hi, Savannah. Let's, I'm gonna come a little bit closer here. How you doing, Savannah? Are you up? Are you up for voicing Tilly Green in an episode of Big City Greens? Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play you a clip, and you'll see it, and you'll hear the voice of Tilly in there. But then we're gonna play it again, and this time we're gonna take it out. So first, let's just watch, and we'll hear what the line is. Okay? Can you play this clip, please? Tilly, you all right? I have seen danger, and I love it. There it is. Okay. I have seen danger, yeah. then there's a long pause, and then, and I love it. You ready? Okay, so we're yeah. gonna play this other clip. Here we go. All right. Really, you all right? I, I have seen danger, and I love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great! Yes, so good. Oh, oh man. Good. Oh no, Savannah's wow. gonna take my job. Oh no, oh is dear. That, is that Tilly approved? I think that is 100% Tilly approved. <laughs> 
Tilly approved. That was great. Thank you so much. Oh, give it up for Savannah. Yeah, that was incredible. All right, I feel like we got time to do one more. Do we have a cricket out there? I, I'm, Sam, I'm too lazy somebody? to move far, so I'm going to go right here to this gentleman. Oh. <laughs> What's your name, young man? Christian. Christian. All right, Christian. Christian. So we're going to give you a cricket line. We'll do the same thing. We'll play it once for you so you can see it, you can hear it, and then you're going you're gonna to be up. Okay, you ready? Okay, let's play this clip. This is just a preview. Okay, so I just pointed towards space, right? Aim really, really high! And tell the chicken you believe in her! That's silly and I ain't doing it. I believe in you. <laughs> so it's those last two lines. Yeah, you're gonna say, that's silly and I don't, uh, and I ain't doing it, and then a pause. I believe in you. You ready? Okay, right, like, let's try it. I believe in you, Christian. Let's do this. Okay, so I just pointed towards space, right? Aim really, really high! And tell the chicken you believe in her! That's silly, and I don't believe it. I believe in you. Yay! Yay! All right! Nice. Great Very work, Christian. Thank you. Very nice. Cricket approved. Definitely cricket approved. That checks out. Man. Checks out. Man, well, that is wonderful. Thank you to both of our volunteers for voicing Cricket Thank you. Give them a round of applause, everybody. You guys are fantastic. We have a very short clip uh, just to show you some highlights from Big City Greens. Recently, uh, Big City Greens is kind of a new show. We premiered last summer, and uh, we have a little highlight reel of some of the, the fun events that happened during season one. Uh, so let's take a look. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. The year was 2018. The place planet Earth. Technology was limited. Horses. People walked everywhere. Ow, 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 ow. And they had never experienced real joy or laughter. But then the world got green. Let's party! for a reason. Rebels don't listen to reason! <laughs> Amateur, I had my first panic attack when I was like half his age. Come on! You tell a story. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. What a thrill ride! Come on. Uh, <laughs> nice fake out. Come here. That's Big City Greens, everybody, and give it up one more time for Shane, Chris, and Mary Eve, who bring that, that show to you guys every week. Thank you, everyone. thank you, everybody. Thank Season you. two premieres in fall of 2019. We'll see yeah, you there, guys. Yeah. Oh man, that show is bananas, right? <laughs> All right, so we've, uh, we've learned about story, we've learned about voices, and finally, it's time to bring, uh, to build a world for our show, right? To discuss how you do that, we're gonna turn it over to the guys and gals from Amphibia. It's a brand new show coming to the Disney Channel this summer. Now, to fill you in, we have a couple of very special guests today. The creator of our newest show and the star of the show. A big time Disney Channel fan favorite just for you guys. Please welcome Matt Brawley and Brenda Song! Give it up! Hi guys! How's everyone doing today? You guys excited? You guys can't be as excited as I am though. <laughs> you guys ready for some super exclusive, never before seen stuff? Yeah! Alright, let's get this party started. So today we're gonna to be talking to you guys about building a world. Uh, <clears throat> my name is Matt Brawley, and I'm the creator of Amphibia. 
Amphibia is the story of a fearless 13-year-old girl named Anne Bunchoy, who has found herself magically transported to Amphibia, a fantastic world full of frog people. And my name is Brenda Song, and I am the voice of Anne. And before we... Ah, uh, you guys are too sweet. Woo! And before we hop into what goes into building a world, we have a very special treat for you guys. We've put together a music video just for FanFest that will introduce you to the show in style. What do you think, Brenda? Uh, I can't wait. I, mean, I think I'm biased, but hey. <laughs> awesome, you guys. All right, building a world, it's one of the most fun things you can do in animation. In our case, we wanted the world of Amphibia, this froggy place, to feel like a real place. And to make it feel real, you have to play make-believe a little bit. I mean, you have to think to yourself, if I was a frog, what kind of world would I live in? You know, what kind of creatures would live there? What kind of plants would grow there? Funny you should ask. Slide. <laughs> Next slide, please. Oh, Very there good. we go. So we're going to be walking you guys through some exclusive artwork that gives you a, a peek at kind of the visuals behind this show and this crazy world we've built. When designing the look and feel of this world, we drew inspiration from nature itself. We imagined that since this was a world without electricity, how cool would it be if there were glowing mushrooms everywhere, sort of like street lamps guiding the way? And the art team tried to fill the world with earthy colors to make it feel extra swampy. Lots of greens, browns, oranges, and reds were used to make it feel like it was a wet and slimy world untouched by technology. Oh wait, are you saying there's no Wi-Fi here? Nope, and that is gonna be a struggle for Anne, let me tell you. <laughs> Next slide, please. Oh, very good, that's good. Um, we wanted the frogs of this world to live harmoniously with nature. Notice how their homes are made from hollowed out tree trunks and giant mushrooms. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, okay, enough about plants. Tell us about the creatures that live here. That's the important stuff. You got it. All right, we're a couple slides behind. Oh, this is, this is the house uh, where the planter family lives. It's kind of this froggy family uh, from the show. All right, next slide, please. All right, what's a world without fantastical creatures to inhabit it? So, of course, we've got frogs, but we also have giant bugs, birds, and snakes. It was important to me then to fill Amphibia with... Uh, uh, it was important to me not to fill Amphibia with traditional monsters like dragons and griffins, but to go after creatures that shared a habitat with frogs. I wanted to think from a frog's point of view, and what could be more scary and monstrous to a frog than a heron? Okay, that's, that's also scary even for me, but we have some like fun and friendly creatures too, right Matt? Absolutely, next slide please. Yep, there uh, are my quite a few domesticated animals like chicken flies and cow pillars, a cross between a caterpillar and a cow. Matt, would you eat a cow filler? Uh, that depends. Do I get ketchup? Uh, let's say yes. Then definitely. <laughs> Gross. Next, next slide, please. <laughs> next slide, please. <laughs> nope, I guess we're not gonna get the next slide. You guys having fun at FanFest today? Yeah. Woo! Seeing all your favorite stars? Yeah. Woo! Going all the crazy rides? Yeah. Oh man, I'm so jealous. I haven't had time to go on rides yet, but I can't wait. Oh, is that so? Okay, never mind. <clears throat> there you have it. Building a world can be as fun as make-believe. The team and I had so much fun dreaming up this frog world, and we can't wait for you, to, for you to explore it when the show launches this summer. And to make this fan fest a little froggier, who wants to play a quick game of true or false with frog facts? Yeah. Woo -hoo! Ooh, I love true or false. Always a 50% chance of being right. All right, everyone, shout out together whether you think the answer is true or false. Okay, I'm first. True or false, frogs give you warts. Correct, false. Not only is this wrong, 
but it's also a hurtful t- stereotype. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys, true or false? Frogs are vegetarians. False. What was it? False. false? That's false. You're absolutely right. Some bigger toads will even eat rats. Oh, gross. All right, true or false? Tadpoles are born with gills so they can breathe underwater. Wow, you guys are really good at this. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, true or false? Frogs have teeth. That one is actually true. Most frogs have small little teeth on their upper jaw for keeping prey in place as they swallow. Yikes. True or false? Frogs are warm-blooded. True or false? Come on, give it to me. False. False it is. Like reptiles, frogs and amphibians depend on their environment to regulate their body heat. Awesome. All right. And last but not least, guys, true or false? Frogs drink with their skin. True? I don't know this one, actually. Yeah, it's crazy, actually. That is absolutely true. Frogs don't have to drink water. They absorb it through their skin. Can you imagine that? Um, this is why it's so important that we have to keep our water clean and free of pollution. Let's work together to keep frogs happy and healthy. Yeah. 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 All right, guys, that does it for True or False. Thank you so much for joining us for this very glimpse at how we build worlds here at Disney. And as an extra special exclusive treat, we'd like to end with a two-minute clip from our show coming this summer to Disney Channel. I hope you guys like it. In this clip... Sprig, an energetic little pink frog, hunts for the mysterious beast that's been lurking in the woods and menacing the people of Wartwood Swamp. It is my absolute pleasure to be able to officially announce that Justin Felbinger is the voice of Sprig. Woo! Enjoy the clip, and we can't wait for you to discover Amphibia with us this summer. like the beast roams these parts. Probably a good place for a <laughs> uh, uh. Hmm? <sighs> Cut ya! Thought you got the best of all land, eh? Well, you didn't. <laughs> <gasps> Giant head, bendly limbs, face bumps. The beast! Stop following me. I have bad news for you, beast. I taste terrible! Ew, I am not gonna eat you. You tried to eat Wally? I tried to ask Wally for help. He ran off screaming the second he saw me. That does sound like Wally. It's coming back. What is? Where are you going? Ugly, ugly, ugly hero! Call me ugly again and maybe I will eat you. Ha! <laughs> You're not gonna eat me. You got a name, stranger? My name's Anne. Anne Boonchoy. I'm Sprig Planter. Put her there! Uh, okay. Uh, so your hand just barfed on my hand. <sighs> okay, Sprig. You got anything to eat? Sure do. Things that aren't bugs? No bugs, eh? But, mm, we'll have to hunt around a bit. Come on, follow me. How do I know I can trust you? What? Does this look like a face that could deceive you? <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Well then, come on, Ooh. chow time. One more time for Amphibia, everybody. Uh, Well, we hope you enjoyed learning about how Disney television animation puts together the shows that you see uh, on the Disney Channel. We loved talking about it with you guys, with the greatest fans in the world. That's you. 
Uh, thank you so much for being here today at Disney Channel Fan Fest. And don't forget, come back to this stage at 5 o'clock for the Disney Channel Voices Showcase, uh, where the cast of Descendants 3 will have some exclusive news just for you. So don't miss that. But for now, thanks on behalf of the cast and crew of DuckTales, Amphibia, and Big City Greens. We loved hanging out with you guys. Have a great afternoon at the park. Bye-bye. So you, you guys are the best. We hope you enjoyed the animation celebration at 5 o'clock.